Good morning, good morning, family. Good morning, church. We are back here in my office. Um, the reason I'm doing it in my office is because you guys know Bella. Uh, if you don't know Bella, she's my four-year-old daughter who loves to run around when when dad is doing something in the house. And um, she doesn't get a con concept yet that um, um, life on uh, on Facebook and uh, she wants to do all kinds of things. So very distracting. So therefore, um, I'm doing it here uh, in, in the office. I'm doing the devotional here in my office. Uh, hoping that everybody's finding uh, okay uh, at home and things are just uh, you know moving along as they are so uh, blessings I'm gonna do a couple of things here first uh, find your 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 Bible if you have a Bible handy or pull out your pull up your little app on your <clears throat> on your phone so that way you can uh, follow with the reading uh, Galatians uh, 9 uh, pardon. sorry Galatians 1, verse 9 to uh, 13, I think it is. So, um, but before I enter into the devotional, um, this is something we're doing every day. And I hope you guys get to uh, spend some time and, you know, scripture reading this devotional or your own devotional. But uh, just uh, put some time around, uh, aside for, uh, for you to spend time with the Lord. Um, get your family maybe in it, uh, get your, your kids involved and, uh, just get together and, uh, and just, um, uh, either, either pray together, study together, uh, just keep yourself connected spiritually, um, with one another, but also with our God. Um, find your coffee or your tea or your water. Send me your prayer request as we, uh, continue with this. I... I encourage you to please send your your prayer request uh, for um, so we can pray here at church, but also um, also other can pray for you at their homes today. The devotional is um, is actually based on uh, on the theme of prayers, uh, prayers for the people, um, the, the the church. Uh, that uh, Paul was trying to ministry, it was the Galatians, uh, and 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 as we see in the book of Galatians, um, as we see, um, Paul was very interested in this ministry, even though he he didn't put that church together himself, but uh, he felt responsible for uh, that church. So um, we see how he. Uh, was so happy to hear the good news of what was happening in that church. But he also knew that the church can be in, at, at risk and that things can change overnight. And as we have experienced, th things do can change overnight. So uh, look for your Bible, open up Galatians chapter 1, verse 9 through, um, through uh, uh, 13. All right, let us have a word of prayer and we get into um, our devotional. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask for your spirit to be with us as we open scripture. Give us, give us always your spirit. Give us always your knowledge, understanding of it. And uh, move, your, move my words to um, share a message of hope. Uh, knowing that um, you are always uh, listening to our prayers, inviting us always to pray for one another. Uh, thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the opportunity uh, for media, for the resources we have to be able to share, even though we can't be together. Uh, we pray always in your name, in Jesus Christ. Amen. So as I was saying, um, the, the church was doing great things. And Paul was was praying for the church, and we can see how he was so joyfully and grateful of the work of the church. But he knew that things can turn around; like things can go from great to good, uh, from good to bad. 
and um, and so he continued to pray for it. And the passage I want to uh, share with you is um, Galatians one, chapter nine, verse uh, nine to uh, thirteen. Okay, so let me let me read this. Uh, let's see if I can read uh, from this far. He says, for this reason, since they have, since the, the day we have we, we have heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you and asking God to fill, um, to to fill you with the knowledge of uh, His will through all spiritual wisdom and understanding. In verse ten, and we pray this in order that you may live a life worthy of of the Lord and may please Him in every way. Let me put the reading here. I'm not sure if you have your um, your Bible with you, but. Uh, I'm just going to put it up there. Uh, I'm on verse 11. Being strained with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience and joyfully giving thanks to the Father. Um, then I'm on uh, verse 12. Giving thanks to the Father, who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the kingdom of of the light verse 13 for he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the son uh, of the son he loves and who we have redemption and the forgiveness of sin um so when we see paul praying for the church that is doing good it made me think hmm so if he does that um, to the church that is doing good and he knows that things can change uh, it's important for us to think about um, uh, our church and it's important to think about the people um, because uh, when we are doing good a lot of times we forget about praying for one another when we are uh, in need or in crisis a lot of times we even forget about it uh, we forget about to lean on God to come to God in spirit and asking God for help Paul is doing these things, and it's, it's very fascinating how he hears about their, their faith, and he's grateful about that. He knows the love that they have for Christ and for the people, for the church. But he continued to pray, and he prays um, for a lot of things for the church. And I just want to, you know, point uh, a few of them. Uh, he prays for understanding of God's will. He, uh, he prays for uh, spiritual wisdom, um, so the church will gain that. Um, he he prays so that people will give honor and glory um, to God to to please God. Um, he prays for uh, so that people will bear good fruits among themselves. Uh, he prays to grow in the knowledge of God. Um, he prays uh, he pray for uh, for them to bear uh, to to be filled with God's strength, and um, he prays for endurance and patience for the church. Um, what else he prays? He prays to um, to stay uh, joyfully um, or, or joyful uh, in, in Christ's love, and uh, and then he prays uh, so the church will be the church will be grateful uh, to joyfully give thanks to God. Um, I think that prayer reminds us of one thing that we need to pray for one another. Uh, we are going through a very difficult time. A lot of people are struggling with this, and and things might get uh, uh, a little bit difficult uh, even more. And especially for some people that have no means and no ways to, um, you know, get a job right away, and um, have lost their jobs and and things like that. So it's really. Uh, in a way, very uh, uh, discouraging. So uh, for a lot of people, I get phone calls, I get uh, texts from people asking for prayers. And so we will continue to pray, but I encourage you to think about who can you pray for today. Um, look around, you know, you have a lot of people in your house. Maybe you have uh, your children inside your home. Maybe you pray for your children, um, pray for your church. Um, I don't think Paul knew uh, the church because he he didn't fund it this church um, but um, but he was praying for them because he he have heard um, good things about the church and uh, he knew that they will need the prayers so he he said I I'm praying for you so um, you don't need to know the people um, pray for the doctors um, doctors are working probably long hours um, in the hospitals uh, the nurses um, that are overwhelmed with everything that the that is coming to um, their way 
um, pray for the teachers, for the students that are at home um, struggling as well for the college uh, students. Uh, my son is back from college and I can see him trying to be uh, in his online classes and it's difficult because the setting uh, in the home and it's very distracting. Uh, pray for them, pray for the teachers. A lot of teachers don't know how to deal with this and this online thing, it's a new thing for a lot of them. Uh, we discovered that, uh, that it's, it's difficult um, to stay connected and, and be impacting, uh, impacting or effective in a way. So pray for them, pray for your family, for your children, for your pastor, pray for your church. Um, we all need prayers. Uh, we feel a lot of times like, like breaking down um, so we do, we do need that same strength, uh, knowledge of God, understanding of God's wisdom, um, to, to um, the strength uh, from God. So, so pray for your pastor, pray, pray for your church. Um, there's a lot of things that we can be praying for, uh, for the people infected with this virus, for the people that have lost their members. So, so you don't need to know these people. I encourage you to make a list of people that you can pray for. Um, that's what Paul is inviting us to, and that's what we are called to. Um, to pray for one another, especially in time of crisis. So uh, if things are going well, well, praise praise God. You know, let's go always and give thanks to the Lord. Um, and, be, uh, and be always asking God, where does he want us to go to? Who does God want us to pray for? So do that. Um, I encourage you to do that as we uh, continue to be in our homes and our places. I hope you can uh, continue to tune in to these devotionals with Pastor Ramon, and uh, and somehow these are helping you in your in your walk with God, but also in uh, in this journey. I'm going to invite you to um, just uh, close your eyes and um, and pray together. Lord, there's a lot of things happening and uh, people are over, overwhelmed with everything. We want to pray, Lord, that those that have trouble with the changes that we are doing and with the uh, getting back from out from our daily routines doesn't affect us as much. I ask you, Lord, to be with all those people that uh, want to have things in a certain way. And because of all of this, it's just not happening the way that we're used to. Um, give them the patience they need. Give them the um, understanding that this is only temporary and, and that things will go back to uh, back to normal soon. Uh, we pray for those people that have lost family members, friends. Um, those are in deep, deep pain because of the losses of all of this. We pray for Anna, for Mac, for Zuri, for Lupita Rieta, for Jaime Arrieta, for John's daughter, Gloria, who is in L.A., for Dave, for his back. We pray, Lord, for Becky Mac. Uh, Pat, Richard, we pray for those that are in the hospitals, recovering, retirement homes, for all those people, Lord, that you will continue with them. Pray for my family, pray for this church, pray for the people that uh, we encounter every day, that somehow we can uh, smile at each other from six feet away and still connect in that way uh, pray Lord for things to go back to normal uh, that you continue to guide the uh, people that know how to uh, fix this situation and give them give them all the resources they need uh, pray for the schools I pray for the children uh, I pray just Lord that you continue to lift our spirits at all times we pray always in your name, Jesus Christ. Amen. You guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Adios.